it's me, Dama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a poncho. And I've really been seeing these at store, and they're really in trend right now. And I was like, you know what? I think I can make one. Super easy. All you need is fabric, scissors, and if you want to go further step and hem it, a sewing machine. And if you want to add a little oomph, you can also add this trimming like I did. So make sure you keep on watching it and how to do it step by step. So first I'm going to show you guys in paper how um, much fabric you need. And this is a rectangle. And just make sure the folding is right here. In this piece of fabric, the folding is right here. And then the length from here to here is 41 inches. And from here all the way down is 28 inches. And this is the fabric that I'm going to be working with. So this is a piece of fabric and the next step is to cut right in the middle. So make sure to you can um, measure since it was 41 inches, half of 41 inches, which is 20 and a half. Measure from here to here, make a little mark. From here to here, 20 and a half, and cut straight across, and only the top layer, do not cut both sides, just the top layer. So this is how it looks once I've cut it. And then you can just hem all of the sides. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stretch it out from the sides. It depends what kind of fabric you have. Um, you can hem it. Some fabrics do need hemming. Um, for this one, I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to stretch out the sides so it looks nice, stretchy, and slouchy. So this is the opening of the poncho. Let me show you guys. And make sure to cut only obviously the first layer and to spice this up a little bit I'm going to add some trimming on the front and I'm just going to sew that right on top and go like that hopefully I have enough and I'm going to sew that right on top only obviously on the first layer, trimming and adding that extra touch so it's not that plain. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to be coming back. So this is how it turned out and I already finished and put the trimming on the front. You can also do it reversible and add another fabric or just make it a little thicker if, for example, this fabric is a little bit thin. So um, you can also add another layer to make it thicker. Or just leave it like this and it is perfect so this was the DIY I hope you guys liked it make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already I'm going to be posting more pictures of DIYs makeup outfit of the days and much more so make sure to stay tuned and also follow me on Instagram Google Plus Facebook and all that good stuff and I also have a blog, which is damavilova.com. If you guys want to see pictures of the items that I have in my videos a little more in detail, definitely check that out. And as always, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.